Welcome, detective. Please, make yourself comfortable. I appreciate your coming in today, and I'm sure you're wondering what this is all about. As you know, technology is changing how we conduct investigations. So we're looking for exceptional candidates to test a new human-computer interface system. We think you might have what it takes. So let's get started. First of all, we'd like you to put on these headphones, but the room is equipped with speakers if you'd prefer. Next, we're going to show you a series of pictures. We want you to tell us what you see, or more importantly, what you hear. Go ahead and pick up the tablet in front of you. Try to relax. Think of this as sort of a game or a puzzle. Something to assess your interpretive and deductive skills. State your name, please. Already told you. Tyler. Hmm? But your car is registered under the name Cameron. <coughs> My brother lets me borrow his luxury vehicle sometimes. You two look a lot alike. You're not the first person to mistake us for each other. We're twins. Except he's a big shot CEO. Was on a magazine cover recently. <laughs> I pulled your sheet. A repeat offender. DUI. Assault. It's the people I hang out with. Honest. I told the guys I shouldn't have been drinking, but they insisted. I swear, never again. Do you have anything else you'd like to come clean on besides the DUI? Uh, nothing I can think of. Why? Drugs, perhaps. Does that jog your memory? Wait, what? I don't know anything about any drugs. Okay, we're done for now. Wait here. Hey, what drugs, yo? What the hell's going on here? Be right back. All done, Marty. Ah, oh, Amber. How'd it go? Asked him the basics. He said he didn't know anything. I figured as much. Follow me. I'll talk to him. Wait here. We'll need your signature for that affidavit. Of course, officer. I need to make a phone call anyway. Cops ain't that stupid. We're talking about a whole key here. Of course they're gonna trace the source. And the dealer can ID me, so hurry up. My brother? Pulling the same old stunt as we speak. <laughs> yeah, I knew he'd try to blame me, but it's gonna backfire on him this time. Don't worry, he was already wasted when I popped open the car. Didn't notice a thing. 
the police are going to nail him for possession and perjury. And when you finish this little errand, he won't even be able to offer up the dealer as part of a plea. He's going to jail, and I'm getting the business. My old man can't and won't help him this time. Not after Cameron got caught with what he did. You'll get your cut after I take over his heir. Anyway, no celebrating yet. Go do what you gotta do, and call me back when it's done. Take a seat. Thanks. The tips you provided us have all been checked out. We've got the guy and the drugs. There's just one thing I don't get. Why would you report your own brother? Because he's got to learn to take responsibility for his own mistakes. What do you mean by that? We're twins, right? Identical. He's been pinning his fuck-ups on me ever since we were kids. But now he's rich and famous. And me? I'm trying hard just to get by. Then why do you always take the fall for him? Until now, I mean. Because he's older, by a couple minutes. But as the second son, I was considered the spoiled brat. So it was my duty to protect the rep of the rightful heir to our father's business. I guess I always thought, what's the harm adding a few misdemeanors to my rap sheet? Pretty generous for a spoiled brat. Don't believe me? Ask him. Fucker's probably still pretending to be me. All right. What changed this time, then? He racks up a couple moving violations? Fine, whatever. But I ain't taking the fall for no drugs. That's some felony-level shit. Be right back. All done, Marty. Ah, oh, Amber. How'd it go? Asked him the basics. He said he didn't know anything. Figured as much. Follow me. I'll talk to him. Wait here. We'll need your signature for that affidavit. Of course, officer. I need to make a phone call anyway. Yo, I'm at the police station. Can't talk much. Just want to make sure you get everything tied up. Yeah, shut that guy up for good. When? Now, obviously. Cops ain't that stupid. We're talking about a whole key here. Of course they're gonna trace the source. And the dealer can ID me, so hurry up. My brother? Pulling the same old stunt as we speak. <laughs> yeah, I knew he'd try to blame me. But it's gonna backfire on him this time. Don't worry. He was already wasted when I popped open the car. Didn't notice a thing. The police are gonna nail him for possession and perjury. And when you finish this little errand, he won't even be able to offer up the dealer as part of a plea. He's going to jail, and I'm getting the business. My old man can't and won't help him this time. Not after Cameron got caught with what he did. You'll get your cut after I take over his heir. State your name, please. Already told you. Tyler. Hmm? But your car is registered under the name Cameron. <coughs> My brother lets me borrow his luxury vehicle sometimes. You two look a lot alike. You're not the first person to mistake us for each other. We're twins. Except he's a big shot CEO. It was on a magazine car. <laughs> I don't remember that. Yeah, I think. Damn it! Okay. Drugs! Okay, we're done for now. Wait here. Hey, 
What drugs, yo? What the hell's going on here? Come back here. What did you mean when you said... Oh, damn it. Okay, think, think. I paid my bar tab, went to the car. Definitely had too much to drink, but I don't remember there being anything wrong when I got there. Oh, I may have passed out for a couple minutes. Could somebody be trying to set me up? Maybe, but who? And why like this? Oh, just stick to the story. As if I had another one. Officer, you said something about drugs earlier. What was that all about? What's your name, son? Tyler. Same old story, I see. If you're Tyler, then who's the Tyler in the room next door? He's here too? Let me ask you again. Who are you? All right, all right. Cameron. This isn't your first time impersonating Tyler, is it? No. If it was only a DUI this time, you might have been able to pull off your little stunt again. But seriously, drugs? You really want to pin that on your brother, too? What drugs? We found a whole kilo in your trunk. That's impossible! Okay, I drink too much, but I've never taken anything stronger than aspirin. I want to see my lawyer. Finally, there's the magic word. Amber, let's go. You want to question him again once his lawyer gets here? He's done nothing but lie straight from the start. We already read him his rights, but he didn't ask for a lawyer until now. The statement we got will hold up in court. Lawyer or no lawyer, we've got him. Take a seat. Thanks. The tips you provided us have all been checked out. We've got the guy and the drugs. There's just one thing I don't get. Why would you report your own brother? Because he's got to learn to take responsibility for his own mistakes. What do you mean by that? We're twins, right? Identical. He's been pinning his fuck-ups on me ever since we were kids. But now he's rich and famous. And me? I'm trying hard just to get by. Then why do you always take the fall for him? Until now, I mean. Because he's older, by a couple minutes. But as the second son, I was considered the spoiled brat. So it was my duty to protect the rep of the rightful heir to our father's business. I guess I always thought, what's the harm adding a few misdemeanors to my rap sheet? Pretty generous for a spoiled brat. Don't believe me? Ask him. Fucker's probably still pretending to be me. All right. What changed this time, then? He racks up a couple moving violations? Fine, whatever. But I ain't taking the fall for no drugs. That's some felony level shit. Be right back. All done, Marty. Ah, Amber. How'd it go? Signature for that affidavit. My brother? Yeah, me. Fuck me. My pop. The police are gonna nail him for possession. <laughs> Take a seat. Thanks. Already told you. Tyler. Hmm? But your car... State your name, please. Already t your own brother. Because he's got to learn to take responsibility for his own mistakes. What do you mean by that? We're twins, right? Identical. He's been pinning his fuck-ups on me ever since we were kids. But now he's rich and famous. And me? I'm trying hard just to get by. 
Then why do you always take the fall for- Just for- All done, Marty. Ah, Amber. Amber, 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 How'd it go? Asked him the basics. He said he didn't know anything. Figured as much. Follow me. I'll talk to him. Wait here. We'll- Of course, officer. I need to make a phone call anyway. Uh, officer, you said something about drugs earlier. What was that all about? What's your name, son? Tyler. Same old story, I see. If you're Tyler, then who's the Tyler in the room next door? He's here too? Let me ask you again. Who. Are. You. All right. All right. Cameron. This isn't your first time impersonating Tyler, is it? No. If it was only a DUI this time, you might have been able to pull off your little stunt again. But seriously, drugs? You really want to pin that on your brother, too? What drugs? We found a whole kilo in your trunk. That's impossible! Okay, I drink too much, but I've never taken anything stronger than aspirin! I want to see my lawyer. Finally! There's the magic word. Amber, let's go. You want to question him again once his lawyer gets here? He's done nothing but lie straight from the start. We already read him his rights, but he didn't ask for a lawyer until now. The statement we got will hold up in court. Lawyer or no lawyer, we've got him. learn to take responsibility for his own mistakes. What do you mean by that? We're twins, right? Didn't cover recently. <laughs> I pulled your sheet. A repeat offender. DUI. Assault. <sighs> it's the people I hang out with. Honest. Our father's business. I guess I always thought, what's the harm adding a few misdemeanors to my rap sheet? Pretty generous for a spoiled brat. Don't believe me? Ask him. Fucker's probably still pretending to be me. All right. What changed this time, then? He racks up a couple moving violations. Jay. Be right back. All done, Marty. Ah. Amber, how'd it go? Asked him the basics. He said he didn't know anything. Figured as much. Follow me. I'll talk to him. Wait here. Be right back. All done, Marty. Ah, Amber, how'd it go? Asked him the basics. He said he didn't know anything. Figured as much. Follow me. I'll talk to him. Wait here. State your name, please.
Take a seat. Thanks. The tips you provided us have all been checked out. We've got the guy and the drugs. There's just one thing I don't get. Why would you report your own brother? Because he's got to learn to take responsibility for his own mistakes. What do you mean by that? We're twins, right? Identical. He's been pinning his fuck-ups on me ever since we were kids. But now he's rich and famous. And me? I'm trying hard just to get by. Then why do you always take the fall for him? Until... Again. Do you have anything else you'd like to come clean on besides the DUI? Uh, nothing I can think of. Why? Drugs, perhaps. Does that... Pretending to be me. All right. What changed this time, then? He racks up a couple moving violations? Fine, whatever. But I ain't take... Taking the fall for no drugs. That's some felony level shit. Be right back. All done, Marty. Ah, oh, Amber. How'd it go? Asked him the basics. He said he didn't know anything. I figured as much. Follow me. I'll talk to him. Wait here. We'll need your signature for that affidavit. Of course, officer. I need to make a phone call and... Yo, I'm at the police station. Can't talk much. Just want to make sure you get everything that the source. Blame me. But it's gonna backfire on him this time. Fall for no devil. This time. The horror man. A couple months back. Yo. Six. He said he didn't know anything. I figured as much. Wait here. Signature for that. Officer. Just it's it's again. But seriously, you are impossible. Okay. What the hell's going on here? Come back here. What did you mean when you said? Oh, damn it. Okay, think, think. I paid my bar tab, went to the car, definitely had too much to drink, but I don't remember there being anything wrong when I got there. Oh, I may have passed out for a couple minutes. Could somebody be trying to set me up? Maybe, but who? Oh. And why like this? Ugh, just... Drugs, perhaps. Does that jog your memory? Wait, what? I don't know anything about any drugs. There's just one thing I don't get. Why would you report your own brother? Let me ask you again. Who are you? All right, all right. Cameron, we found a whole kilo in your trunk. Don't worry. He was already wasted when I popped over. So you believe that the twins swapped their identities? Excellent assessment, detective. By this point, 
You've probably figured out you're reviewing a sort of surveillance recording. All of this data is contained in and processed by what we're calling the uh, Acoustic Detective System. It allows you to freely navigate through past events using captured audio. Ultimately, we're hoping to assemble a new investigative department that will rely heavily on this invention, both to solve cold cases and assist with new ones as they develop. You're off to a strong start. Let's get back to it, shall we? How about something more challenging? This is the floor plan of a local art gallery. The exhibition is about to start, but the only thing on display is an empty frame. Mr. Green, what brings you here? I wanted to thank you in person for, uh, sending me a photo of the maestro's painting. Thanks to that high quality image, I could see all the fun you in person for... Mr. Green, what brings you here? I wanted to thank you in person for, uh, sending me a photo of the maestro's painting. Thanks to that high quality image, I could see all the fine details and woo wee! Talk about a masterpiece! <laughs> Please keep your voice down. I sent it to you because you've been a good sponsor to this gallery, and I hope that will continue. But we're under strict orders not to show that painting to anyone. The threat of forgery alone. Who is this, huh? Ah, whatever. Ah, good luck to anyone who thinks they can copy the maestro's genius. <laughs> Still, there are those out there that would try. What am I, a freaking call center? <sighs> Sean, buddy, calm down. I get it. You know I only collect originals. The best of the best, right? I wanted to see it before the opening. And now that I have... I'm gonna buy it. Actually, about that, I... Well, I'm afraid that... Maybe you should just answer that, hmm? Go ahead. Uh, right then. Like I said, just swung by to say thanks for the sneak preview. You've probably got a packed schedule. I'll see you out there. Mac, simmer down. I need to check things out first. This kind of research can't be rushed. Call me back in a few minutes. Be rushed. Right then. Like I said, just swung by to say thanks for the sneak preview. You've probably got a packed schedule. I'll see you out there. John! Ah, Maestro, there you are. I was just looking for you. I viewed your painting the other day, by the way. Truly a masterpiece. But when I just went to check on it earlier, all I saw was an empty frame. Your assistant said that's what you actually want to present. Could I ask the reason, if you don't mind? <sighs> Do you know why I picked as a theme the lost art for this exhibition? Hmm? Look outside. Look at all those people staring at an empty frame, thinking it is my actual work. Tell me, Sean, just how many works of art from young, promising artists do you have in this gallery right now? Ten? Twenty? You might as well have zero for all it is worth to these people. To them, this 
Empty, pointless frame is more valuable than the actual art of all of these rising artists. Do people nowadays have any taste? Hmm. You're not wrong there, Maestro, but uh, that's pretty much how it's always been. <sighs> you are right, of course. The Renaissance elite, uh, they patronized the starving sculptors and painters. But it feels especially true now that art has become about who has more money, whose name is more recognized. People have become nothing more than sheep with no opinions of their own. Call it performance art if you wish. But this exhibition was never about a piece of cat. Your seats. Where do I go? Ow. Excuse me, is this the, uh, Tossed Art Exhibition? It's the Lost Art! Yeah. It's a tomato, oh, tomorrow, but enough, he said, she said. Which way do I go to get to the storeroom? The storeroom? Well, it's over across from the bathrooms, but didn't you come to see the opening? You've been a pal. Thanks, man. Favorite artist minutes in exhibit the exhibition will start in three minutes please take your seats your exhibition will your seats the exhibition will start so, ah, there you are, Maestro. The exhibition's about to start. May we? Ladies, Ladies and, and gentlemen, gentlemen. Welcome. Welcome. welcome, welcome. I'm so I'm glad so you could all be here today. I'm, I'm sure, sure many of you have you questions, questions about the, the well, well, empty frame, frame you see before you, before you which, is which is why, without, without further, further ado, ado, I'd like, I'd like to officially, like to officially, officially announce, announce the commencement the of the Lost Art Exhibition. exhibition. Put, your Put your hands together, together for, for the Maestro Claw. Thank you. Merci beaucoup. Thank you. This piece, my, my latest piece, has been an entire year in the making. However, it would seem a year is still not enough. No doubt you have already noticed the empty frame before you. I am sorry to tell you, but my painting has actually been stolen. Seals! I, I have no doubt you'll end up on the black market. Where are you going? I, uh, uh forgot something I gotta take care of. Gotta split. Thanks for visiting. No, no, I think any Huh? Wait a minute! Where'd you get that? You weren't holding it when you came in! I, uh, bought it from the gift shop? Have a gift shop! You stole it! Hand it over! Jesus, fine! Take it! I think. Chill! I found the place! Ain't my fault all these shishi galleries look the same. We're still on schedule, so. Cool 
your jets, old man. You told me once before. I'm not gonna forget it. Relax. I'm a pro. My name means something on the street. Ask anyone. There ain't a job I done wrong. Uh, excuse me. Is this the, uh, Tossed Art Exhibition? It's the Lost Art! Yeah. A tomato, oh, tomato! But enough, he said, she said. Which way do I go to get to the storeroom? The storeroom? Well, it's over across from the bathrooms, but didn't you come to see the opening? You've been a pal. Thanks, man. Favorite artist consistent. On my way. Damn it! This storeroom looks like a fucking hurricane ran through it. How the hell am I supposed to find the safe? Let's see it. Huh? Ah, that must be it right there. Let's give the old combo a try. Ha! <laughs> and just like that, the job's done. Too easy. No wonder the old man ain't paying me much. Could have had me swipe a nicer painting, too. People these days will call anything art. Yo, old man! I got the merchandise! Wait, what? And what about the rest of my money, huh? Hello? Hello? God damn it! Hey, you don't happen to have a light on you, do you? Hmm? What's that you got there? What? Hey, this is... Is that a copy of the Maestro's painting? I got one myself. Pretty good, huh? Uh... Yeah, uh, yes, of course. Want a cigarette? Don't know about you, but I'm barely keeping it together. Before the 90s, you could smoke anywhere, but now? Sure, thanks. Don't mind if I do. Finally think again. I swear they put restrictions on everything these days. Corral us out in the freezing cold in a designated smoker's area 15 feet from the door. Like nobody ever took a drag in front of the Mona Lisa before they put it behind glass. You feel me? Uh, sure. Yeah, I feel ya. Goddamn rules. Shit! Fucking smoke detector in the bathroom! Put it out, man! Put it out! Ouch! Watch it, man! 
Sorry. Sorry, I, I panicked. Anyway, it was uh, nice talking to you. Here's your painting. See you around, yeah? Ah, oh, Christ. Oh, I, I have no doubt you end, end, end up on the black market. market. Where are you going? I, uh, forgot I something I gotta take right there. You got a point? I have a sign. I think I think any, any more No! Stop! Uh, where'd you get that? You weren't holding it when you came in! I, uh, bought it from the gift shop? Oh, well... Wait, we don't have a gift shop! You stole it! Hand it over! Jesus, fine! Take it! It ain't worth a shit anyway! It's been found! Direct my the my two. Director! The painting's been found! But... What? Another witness? It cannot be. What? What? The, the, the lost art has returned. It's a miracle. <laughs> the the I, uh, uh, My one regret is that I never signed my painting. Nor did I take any photos of it. In fact, any anonymous painting out there on the market could, in fact, be my work. Fancy me. I hope that one day you will seek out the truth using only your eyes and, of course, your heart. And nothing else to find my painting. Director, the painting's been found! But what? Another one? It cannot be. Another one? The lost art. Good news. I have a potential buyer. One I don't expect will require much convincing or ask too many questions. Quit worrying. It's perfectly safe. You know I don't deal with the real thing, ever. But the others are none the wiser, and my position lends me plausibility. So long as you keep your mouth shut, everything will be fine. Besides, I have complete faith in your skill. There isn't a single person who'll be able to tell your work is a fake. Anyway, this was all his idea. This performance art the maestro orchestrated, as his assistant, I'd like to think I'm doing him a favor. And since he staged this whole thing himself, he won't get the police involved. That should put your mind at ease. Yes? I've already told you, the lost art. It's about more than just the theft and retrieval of a painting. Who knows how many people are going to get tangled up in this before it's over, each of them playing their own special roles in the maestro's machinations without realizing it. You and I? Well, we're just the first two actors in the play, but at least we're not improvising. Really. The more I think about it, the more genius it all is. Claude truly is a master. Anyway, I should go. I'm meeting the buyer soon. I'll call you back when I have our money in hand. All right? Have you arrived, Mr. Green? Is true? I hear the maestro hired someone to swipe his work so he could showcase an empty frame. Only he would pull something like that. <laughs> as soon as the painting surfaces, it's mine. And don't worry, I won't forget about your cut for helping me find it. It's my pleasure, but don't bother looking for it on the black market. That place is nothing but a cesspool of forgeries. What do you mean by that? The maestro may have his own plan, but if the painting's going to get stolen anyway, I figured I could do him a favor. 
Ta-da. The, uh, you took it? When, uh, when did you nab it? The when is unimportant. What matters is that I have it. Uh, if you'll, uh, excuse me for a moment, I have to take this. It's a fake. I feel it. I checked. It's a fake. I feel like an idiot for spending all that cash to hire a decent forger. Yeah, well, turns out that one's fake too. The deal's off. Forget about the rest of your money. Sorry, sorry. Important call, you know. But anyway, uh, I wanted to ask, uh, are you sure it's okay? I mean, taking the painting behind the maestro's back and everything. But that's exactly what he wanted, isn't it? For the painting to be stolen. But instead of letting it fall into the hands of a two-bit thief who doesn't know a thing about art, I thought it would be safer in the hands of a true connoisseur, like yourself. Don't you agree? You flatter me. And you're not wrong there. I'm a big fan of the maestro's work. I'm talking huge! So, rather than cutting me in for a finder's fee, I'd like to offer a chance to buy it direct. Assuming the price is right. Well, I brought all the cash I could get on such short notice. You think this will be enough? Hmm. Was hoping for a bit more. But seeing as you're all Johnny on the spot, and in cash, too. You've got yourself a deal. Just remember, no selling for at least a year. Got that? This cannot be tracked back to me. Oh, don't worry about me. I understand all too well. After all, patience is key in my line of work. The longer I hold on to this painting, the more I'll be able to sell it for. Three years. That's my endgame. And not a soul will know a thing about it until then. An expert as always. I should have known I wouldn't have to remind you. All right, the exhibition will kick off soon, if you'll excuse me. Go on ahead. I'll see you around. Ah, there you are, Maestro. The exhibition's about to start. May we? Ladies and gentlemen, Welcome, welcome. I'm so glad you could all be here today. I'm sure many of you have questions about the, well, empty frame you see before you, which is why, without further ado, I'd like to off these days. Corral us out in the freezing cold in a designated smoker's area 15 feet from the door! Like nobody ever took a drag in front of the Mona Lisa before the...